Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm pretty bummed out today. The race at Silverstone got canceled. Uh, I went in and did some overtime on my way home now. Um, I really look forward to MotoGP races. I wake up early in the morning just to watch MotoGP. Uh, I woke up. I knew the race was supposed to get moved to like 15 minutes earlier start time. But by that point, the clouds had already opened up. And uh, they canceled the race. I was bummed. And uh, so then I just woke up early for nothing. And uh, I would have jumped on Xbox, got on the sticks, played some Call of Duty. But I didn't want to play Call of Duty. And then miss the race. So I watched until they like pulled the plug. Uh, I was crappy. Um, anyway, what I really want to talk to you guys about is... Um, the new model I just saw from Harley Davidson, it's like the, it's like a FX RS, I think, or RR 114. Anyway, what they they're branding it as is a Harley Davidson Sport Cruiser, and man, I'll tell you what, it's a good looking bike, but I feel like it's a, they're really trying to bite off of the X Dival uh, style. Uh, it looks like uh, a crappy version of an x Dival. <laughs> no, it don't look like a crappy version. Don't get me wrong. The bike is nice. Uh, it really is nice. Um, you know, I think it's nice. I think uh, it'll sell a lot. But er all these new bikes coming out from Harley-Davidson, you can really see why they wanted to buy. Um, that's a badass Ferrari. Um, anyway, but you can really see why they hired Goldman Sachs to try to buy Ducati. And um, it just shows, man, they wanted some of the technology. They wanted that. They wanted it, I'm telling you. They wanted to know how to make twins go fast. Like, legit go fast. I don't think Harley would be afraid of putting a Desmo inside one of their twins. Just to see how fast they could get it to go. Um, there's a video out there of a guy who did get uh, Ducati heads on a Harley motor. It, it happened. Uh, if you Google it up, it's out there. It's you know, it's it's one of the um, uh, two valve heads. Uh, it's not a four valve head. It, it's a two valve Ducati head that they put on. I think it was a shovel head lower end. Uh, anyway, the guy had it working with that, you know, it was, it was working, they had it running, so, I mean, it, it obviously can be done. Um, but anyway, like, I would definitely like to test ride that bike. They, they're saying, uh, some of the t DNA and technology came directly from their, uh, drag racing bike, um, I just want to see the numbers, man. Let me see the horsepower. Let me let me see what it is. Because uh, anything over 100 horsepower is uh, is like bananas for a Harley Davidson. So, you know, I left a comment on there. I guess it wasn't really friendly. <laughs> man, my whole uh, my whole thing with Harley Davidson is if way back when when they had Buell. Uh, the the Buell brand going. If they would have let Eric Buell be Eric Buell, they probably wouldn't be in this situation. I believe Eric Buell would have made some really badass bikes that would have sold. Harley would have a legit sport bike brand to its name, not some belt-driven wannabe sport bike that's really a sportster with a couple fairings on it. You know, that's all that all the Buell Blast or whatever the 1200 model was. It's it's a sportster, man. Well, uh, there's many part numbers that cross directly over from a Sportster to a Buell. And, um, but if they were to let, think about it, if, if EBR never happened and, uh, Eric Buell stayed working under the Harley umbrella and he had the financing of Harley and not his hands tied to make stupid belt-driven bikes, man, his bikes would have been ten times better. I believe we could see, uh, 
EBR or Eric Buell bike in World Superbike right now. Racing. Uh, I really believe that right now Eric Buell could have a bike in World Superbike if it wasn't for Harley uh, keeping his hands tied with what he could and what he couldn't do on a bike. But uh, no, it, it, they didn't let him do it. They made crappy bikes. It went under. I mean, you see Harley, they acquired uh, MV Augusta. They ran that thing into the ground. Now, MV Augusta doesn't need any help running itself into the ground because they do do that just fine on their own. And uh, word on the street is they're coming back to MotoGP. And uh, I wholeheartedly think that's going to end up being worse than Aprilia in uh, MotoGP. I mean, they might prove me wrong, but I don't know, man. Them smaller companies like KTM and Aprilia, uh, they just don't do good, man. They don't have the funding, man. They don't have it. I wish they did. Could be, it would be more competitive than just uh, three manufacturers. You really have Honda, Ducati, and Yamaha. I mean, it gets boring, man. Suzuki, every once in a while, they, they show pizzazz. You know, they show it to be good, but... For the most part, it's it's a three sh three sh three manufacturer fight, and this year it's only Honda and Ducati. It's only two. Um, now, some of the racing this year has been the best I've seen in a while. Um, don't get me wrong. Uh, there's some been been some really really good races this year. So, but I would really like to see Aprilia and KTM and the, all those manufacturers be just as good you know they got some pretty good riders over there and it just doesn't show up man the bikes break uh, you know which leads me to another thing man that uh, Triumph that new uh, the new Triumph Moto 2 bike I saw a couple videos on that and man that bike sounds amazing um, I am really, really surprised in uh, how that bike looks, how it runs, how it sounds. Uh, I think Triumph is going to turn some heads uh, with that Moto2 bike. I know a lot of R&D went into that thing. So. But yeah, that's really what I got for you guys today. Um, Pretty much I just want to talk about the new Harley motorcycle and uh, how I really think that uh, Harley wanted to buy Ducati for the pure fact that they wanted to get into these new markets and uh, it's hard to just break into a market you know it, I mean so if you got Ducati behind it and they already have bikes established into the uh, into some of the markets that they're trying to go to. I mean, your dual sport or uh, adventure bike, I mean, uh, the Multistrada definitely is that. It's one of the better bikes in the category. Um, and what was that other one? That the, the Street Fighters, man. Ducati's been making awesome naked sport bikes for a while. The Monster is has been around forever. And then a couple years they did the actual Street Fighter where they took the 1098 and the 848 motors and they, they did them. Basically upright riding versions of those two super bikes. Those things are amazing looking bikes. So yeah, I really think that those bikes would have definitely helped out. Um, uh, well, buying Ducati would have definitely helped out Harley in a major way to break into these new niche markets. But uh, I'm really glad it didn't happen because I feel that in MotoGP, uh, being owned by Audi, who is owned by uh, Volkswagen, has really, really helped um, Ducati become more competitive. And I like going out there and like, I'm like, yeah, Ducati is a winning bike. <laughs> it wins in MotoGP, the top level of racing. You know, people buy Chevrolets because they're awesome in NASCAR. It, I mean, check uh, Victory Lane on Sundays brings them to the dealer on Mondays. That's a real saying that they used to throw around. 
but yeah guys that's pretty much it uh let me know what you think and guys if you like my video just please like it uh if you like what i do here just subscribe to my channel man i'm trying to make this thing grow uh you'd be helping a vet out <laughs> i'm gonna throw that card out there man help a veteran out people say they want to help a vet that's all you gotta do to help me is subscribe to my channel man it, it's not hard just a click of the mouse i'm not asking for money i'm asking for a sub <laughs> but, uh, no i'm just playing but man uh you guys uh take care and uh if you're riding man uh ride safe and enjoy the, what's left of the weekend man talk to you later bye